How can I help? About my mother? I'm unsure. I seem to find it difficult to remain objective when it comes to her. I find that disturbing. We have more important things to do. Still, my father is dead. Just because we find the Holocron doesn't mean I have to give it to her. Father recorded all his personal thoughts in that Holocron, even when I knew him. Having it would be like having him with you. I don't see why she deserves it, however. She drove him to his death. I loved him, and I didn't even have a chance to say goodbye. I don't know. Part of me would keep it just so she didn't get it. I don't like that part of me. I would have thought my Jedi training would have put me past this kind of pettiness. I wish it... I really don't want to think about this. Please, let's just keep going. I'm here. Huh? Yes? Ah, it doesn't matter. Can you handle a blaster? It may attack again at any second. I doubt we could hold out on our own against another wave of them. You would be right. Came out of nowhere. Wait, damn it! Here they come again! How did they do that? Yes?
thanks for your help. I don't think we'll try holding this position for much longer. We're not soldiers. Did the company send you? It's about time they drove these animals out. Well, you've got a lot of work ahead of you. Do you know about their enclave in the south? Don't even try to go near it. They've taken all the Zerka weapons that were supposed to protect our sand crawlers. That place is a fortress, a death trap. You'll have to find some way to sneak into the place. Glad it's not my job. Just that they attack everything on sight. Well, I suppose they don't attack each other, but any outsider's as good as dead. The company tried to arm us and even set up remote self-powered turrets on the mining route, but, but that just made things worse. We're not soldiers. They still kill us and then take our weapons off our corpses. They even had the Jawas disable the turrets and set them around their enclave. It's like a fortress now. I don't know how you're going to break through all of that. Me? I'd sneak in. Well, actually, I'd just get back to Anchorhead. They use whatever they scavenge. They seem to hate our technology, but they love to turn it against us. That goes for blasters and turrets, too, I guess. It's not like you need to be a genius to operate them. They probably don't even bother with special settings. They just watch for people approaching and switch them on. Yeah, so do we. There's no way we're appearing this thing while getting attacked over and over. The desert can have it. Ah, the Jawas will salvage it eventually anyway. Then we can buy it back and start over. <laughs> Makes sense to me. Yeah, what do you want? Your choice. I'm here if you want something done right. What? Yeah, what do you want? Tatooine is one big desert, with rocks sticking out. The, the, you have... Your choice. What? 
What can I do? I'm here. Sure. What? What can I do? Yes? What?
Yes? Yeah, what do you want? Your choice. I'm here if you want something done right. Hey there. What can I do for you? Talk. What is there to talk about? Those sand people took my brother prisoner. Griff may be a slime, but we have to go rescue him. We can't just leave him with those... those... those monsters? I knew I could count on you. There's definite fringe benefits to being friends with a Jedi. How may I be of assistance to you, Padawan? What is it you would like to speak to me about? Well, I suppose I have not talked very much about the Jedi I met back home. They... All of them were so very invigorating. They were so very alive, so full of hope and energy and zeal. In retrospect, I can see it was a little bit tragic. Those Jedi were going to fight the Mandalorians just after they had invaded. Many of those Jedi perished in the fighting, but to us, they seemed invincible. Especially their leader, who they talked about all the time. Paragons of light and justice, sweeping away all iniquity before them. It was like looking at gods. I know that. I was using poetic license. But those Jedi, they were enthralling. Everyone wanted just to touch them. Some people thought it would bring them luck. Not that the peace they brought lasted very long. The Jedi left. The people grew complacent. Those who had been wronged saw their chance at revenge. And so the cycle continues. The oppressed become the new generation of oppressors. The human oppressed, that is. The non-humans were never treated well in any case. We felt the brunt of both administrations. Of course it was! They took their frustrations and hate out on us, because the people they wanted had already fled, or were too well protected. But no one looks out for the injustices we suffered. Oh no, but... But I am sorry. I should not have outbursts like that. Don't you see? The very fact I mentioned it means it has its influence. Anger can lead to the dark side. And I must be ever careful that I do not fall back into those ways. I... I thank you for your support. My outburst was uncalled for. But you did not lash back at me. You are a much better Jedi than I, it would seem. But let us not speak more of this now. We should continue on our journey. Perhaps later we will talk again. Yes, what's on your mind? Sorry, can't be much help with that. Yes, what's on your mind? You got it.
Sure. 